Part four. You are going to hear a news broadcast about proposed developments in a local area and about a local college. First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to forty. And now for our main headlines on Southern local news for today. First of all, the report relating to the proposed motorway and other developments around the village of Tartlesbury was published this morning, and as has been expected, it has created quite a lot of interest. The new motorway will pass along the north side of the village, crossing the River Team less than half a kilometre from the well-known beauty spot Streve Ford to the northeast of the village. The motorway will cut the village off from the ford, where many children play. But that is not the end of it. There are also plans to build a thousand houses on farmland west of the village. And on top of that, there are proposals to build an industrial estate for new technology companies on the site of the old steelworks on the edge of the village. A new centre with a swimming pool and a very wide range of sports facilities, and a large supermarket with other shops, are also planned next to the housing estate. Mr. Jones, a local farmer we spoke to early today, is strongly against the plans, but the local council is pushing for them to be adopted in full. They say that new housing is needed in the area, and that it is an opportunity to take advantage of government grants for setting up new technology developments. The mayor, Mr. Fun, says. We must make every effort to do our part for the economy of the country and for the local people. This is a golden opportunity to put Tartlesbury on the map. Reactions to Mr. Fun's comments have been quick to come. Surprisingly, when we contacted the spokesman of the local conservation group, he was very much for the planned developments, but not all the local groups support the scheme. And unlike the mayor, the local MP Mrs. Wright is very much against the planned developments. Mr. Khan, a local shopkeeper, had this to say: "People are absolutely horrified at what is being proposed here. This is just a chance for some people to make money quickly. But I can assure you that if they think that local people are going to be a walkover, they have another think coming. Of course." We welcome the jobs that the new technology park will bring, but we feel that the large increase in housing and the proposed motorway will destroy the character of the area. I think this is a debate that is going to run on for quite some time, and we here on local news will keep you informed. And now for something quite different. This year's exam results have just come out, and there are a lot of happy faces out there. It would seem that the number of young people going on to university from the local college in Upton, which is not far from Tartlesbury, has increased by twenty-five percent this year. All those who have applied to go to university or into teacher training colleges have found places. This is the first time that there has been a one hundred percent success rate at the college. We spoke earlier to the principal of the college, who said she was very proud of all those who had achieved their aims, and she wished them every success in the future. There will be another news bulletin at 11 p.m., and for now, it's back to more music from around the world. That is the end of part four.